In today's video, I want to talk about my five favorite features in Divi. Now, before I get started, I'd also like to remind you that if you'd like to design professional looking websites with Divi and you haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy it using my affiliate link in the video description below, I will give you access to my web design formula. This is a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let me share with you my five favorite Divi features. All right, so my first feature here is to do with the templates. Now, this is something that was introduced not so long ago with Divi 4.0. Right, so let's head over here now, all the way down to the bottom here. So this is where the theme builder is. So what the theme builder does is it allows you to import templates that transform your whole website. So let me do this by doing a quick example of a template for bloggers that I'm actually working on. It's going to be released on Friday and it's going to be really awesome. So first of all, let me just show you what the post looks like. So this is what a standard post looks like when you design websites with the standard Divi builder. So as you can see, there's, a not, there's not a lot of styling here. It's pretty much basic. Now, just by adding a few clicks, you're going to see how this is going to be transformed using the template that I'm going to import here. Now, importing this is very straightforward. You just click here, click on import, select the file, and it's called Blogger Pro. That's gonna be the template that's our, that I'll be releasing very soon. So now I'm gonna hit import. So it's going to import all the styles for this website. And it's gonna take a bit of a while because there are quite a lot of files that this is not is extracting. But the reason why I like this feature is because it saves you a lot of time to design websites, especially if you're a freelance designer. And if you wanna build your own websites, as you can see, as you shall see, it's very, very, very easy and it's fast. So now that all my templates have been uh, added, if I hit save changes, first of all, I just wanna show you what this looks like. So this is what it looks like right now. Now this template is going to replace the header, it's going to replace the footer, it's also going to replace the layout of this. Now, let's take a look at what happens when I refresh. So I'm just gonna hit refresh and boom. Just like that, I've managed to transform my, my layout from what we had before and now you can see it even has a nice style here. When I scroll, it fades out into the content. And there we go, even our image here has rounded corners. I have a specific um, font here. And you also have a sign up if you need one. And then here you have your related posts. And then finally you have the comments area and you have the footer. So as you can see, this feature right here is fantastic because it just speeds up your web design process really, really fast. And that's why I like it. All right, guys, now let me talk about my second feature and my second feature is about positions. So let me go into uh, one of these sections here. So if I go into this one, the feature is going to be on the advanced tab. And as you can see here, now we have these positions. So with these positions, I can add fixed positions, absolute, relative, and so on. Now, this is a feature that we didn't have before. So if you wanna make anything fixed here, you can just do that, save, and then when you scroll, you can see that that item now is fixed. It doesn't go anywhere, and this is this one here. In fact, uh, let's go to default. That's not the right way to do it. Uh, let me choose a different one. So I'll just close out of this. So let's say I wanna make this part here fixed. Uh, all I have to do is to go in here, advanced, position, and then I can just make it fixed by selecting it here and save. So now when I scroll, this item gets fixed there while everything else is scrolling. So you can really become very creative with this and it's very, very good feature. In fact, it also works for the headers. So if you wanna make your header fixed, you can use this same feature to make your headers fixed. Now, moving on to the next one. Now, this feature here is going to be, uh, it's mind blowing because this is the feature that I used in my Blogger Pro template. Now, what it allows you to do is to add effects. So again, let's head over here to our section settings. Uh, we're gonna click advanced and then here are the scroll effects. So there's quite a few here. You have uh, vertical motion. So all you have to do is to enable it here and this will allow vertical motion. So as you can see here, everything else is scrolling on a fixed item. So that's because I've added my vertical. Now over here, you can also play around with the midsection. So you can uh, 
specify where you want this to start. So as you can see here, I can just drag it all the way there and it can start at a specific position. Now there's quite a few of these um, positions. So, I mean, scroll effects. So this one here is the horizontal. You also have a fade in, fade out. So you can activate it here. And as you can see here, it's faded out. So I can actually go all the way here to 0%. And then when I start scrolling, it is going to start coming into uh, into life. So again, all these effects are really, really cool. You also have scaling up, scaling down. You also have rotating and bl the blur effect. So all these are features. Uh, the scroll effects are features that you can use in your designs. And I really, really like this. You can become very creative uh, with your layouts. And the good thing about this feature right here is you can use it on mobile devices as well. All right. So moving on. The next one here is the color palette. So let me just show you where the color palette is. Now, the color palette is very important because when you design your website, you want to make sure that uh, your colors are consistent throughout your whole website. So over here, I'm just going to go to my dashboard, discard and exit. So to get the color palette, so initially you need to add your colors over here. So as you can see, these are my colors. So initially you need to add them here. Now, once you add them here, these colors are going to follow you everywhere you go in your design process. So this makes uh, the use of colors on your website very, very easy. And also you can keep an eye on your colors and it makes the whole design very, very consistent. So let me just show you quickly uh, where these colors are. So if I go to, let's say a page here, let's go to all pages. Uh, let's go to this one here and edit with DV. All right, so we're just gonna build this from scratch. And if I add a text module here, you'll notice that when I go to my design and go to text, this is the same color palette that I had right in the beginning. So I can then choose my colors here and my colors are going to be consistent with my color palette every time I design any element. So this was the text. So let's move on to the next one. So let's say I wanna add uh, another module. So uh, in fact, let's add, let's add a blurb. So with that, even if I go to my background here, you can see that I can add my colors and everything is going to be consistent because it's all from my color palette. All right, so uh, moving on, let's talk about um, the next feature. Now, the next feature is really cool because it gives us compatibility with the Gutenberg editor. Now, let me show you how that works. So back over here, I'm going to discard and exit. So let's say I'm working on a post. So I'm gonna click here on all posts. I'm just gonna go to a post that exists on my site here. So I'm gonna click here on edit. So with the post, we have uh, two options. One option is to edit with Divi and the other option is to edit it with the builder. So as you can see, this is the Gutenberg editor. It has its own blocks, um, which are similar to modules in Divi. So let's say you wanna add an image. So you'd click here and then search for the image module. And here it is. So if I click upload, I can upload from the computer just just like how we do, or I can import from the um, from the library here. So let's say I go with this image here, click on select. This is what happens. But as you can see, we are very limited here on what we can do with this image here in terms of the settings. So what you can do is within this page, within this page that we have here uh, that has the Gutenberg editor, we can actually go in and add a Divi block. So here you can see we have Divi layout. So if I click on that, I can now build from library, build a new layout. So this is like a builder inside the Gutenberg editor. So this is for uh, useful for those of you that uh, prefer to use just the Gutenberg, pure Gutenberg users. This will, this will work um, very, very well but it's done in such a way that it is very, very easy to integrate with Divi. So if I add here, let's add an image. I'm gonna select it. And let's say the image I need to add. Okay, let's use the very same one here. I go and save it, save. So now it is going to bring my image in here. And every time I need to go in and make some edits, I can go in here and make some edits. And uh, as you know, Divi gives us a lot of flexibility when it comes to uh, editing our images here. So you can also hide the block, you can insert and do all sorts of stuff from the Gutenberg editor. But this just brings in 
this, just that one aspect of the DV. So if I click update and do a quick preview, let's take a look at this page. So there we go. So you can see here, I've added my image. This keep popping up. Okay, so as you can see, I've added my image there in the Gutenberg editor. So these are my five favorite features. I know there's a ton of features in there that I can talk about, but these ones here really, really, really make my design workflow really awesome. Uh, but I, again, as I mentioned, there are also some features that are very close to uh, being on my top five list, but so far this is uh, my main ones. I may do another tutorial again or another video where I talk about even more uh, of these features because sometimes when they are released, we tend to forget get them. And uh, these are features that could help us with our design workflow. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.